This whole time of year for me, probably starting in October and certainly going through January, sometimes it stretches through February. Ever since I was very, very, very young, I've always had this feeling that would come upon me that was, I would say, before I understood a word for it, it was just a feeling of sacredness. I could just feel some change in the atmosphere, in the air, starting somewhere in October. And it would just be sort of this sense of profound kind of meaning that I couldn't put my finger on, this profound sense of significance, but I didn't know it. It was as if some veil that was surrounded us it got thinner and thinner during the winter this time of year. And of course, in one sense, that makes perfect sense because the winter is all about everything in nature is sort of returning to its root, dropping what is unnecessary, what's outgrown, what's no longer needed. And it's all, everything sort of returns to this sort of essence. Everything sort of comes back into its most internal form. And so it's, I think it's quite natural that there's this, this feeling. You can feel that in the atmosphere. You can feel it in the air. And I've always felt fortunate from the time I can remember. I could always feel that. And so to me, that always sort of defined this time of the year. And certainly the holidays running from Thanksgiving and Christmas and on they go. Um, and yet, as I was even driving up the mountains to go on this little ride with a friend of mine, and it occurred to me that actually there's also something else that's in some sense far more human, I think, about, about whatever, whatever we feel like are our significant holidays. And like I said, there's, I think there's a from a really human sense, they, there's a sense that they remind us of a kind of belonging. Um, and it's, I've noticed as I've grown up, as I came into my adult years, I started to notice basically people had two relationships with holidays. One of them was a very positive relationship for some people. They get kind of warm and cozy and happy and something starts to glow inside and they feel really good about holidays. And other f people find the holidays, they just immediately, they just seem to uh, bring, bring into being a sense of sort of despair almost, or an isolation, or a, certainly a sense of pain. And I, as I was driving up, I suddenly just sort of understood that this, this whole, all of it centers, whether we have a positive relationship or a negative relationship with this time of, of year, it's all about whether we feel a sense of deep belonging or we don't feel belonging. Because for some people, many people, holidays were when, you know, the family went into a special and unique form of catastrophe. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> and even when everything going, is going really well, it's still a unique form of catastrophe that often happens. But, you know, you can... For some people, there, there, there wasn't a sense of belonging. There was a sense of being left out or isolated or where their system, their families or their friends or whatever, never, never engendered that feeling of closeness, never reminded them that they belong uh, in a really intimate way. And then other people, as I said, have the opposite experience, that their experience is that they do come into a, a deeper sense of belonging and inclusion with their families or their friends or whoever it may be. And it got me to sort of, I was sensing that this feeling of belonging is really such a pivotal thing for all of us. And I hope that no matter what your relationship is with this time of year, whether it's something that's just sort of arises spontaneously that's positive or it arises that it's a challenge, that one of my real hopes of us coming together uh, is that we join in a sense of belonging. That we, on this day here, we belong here together. And that we are celebrating something. That no matter what our experience in life has been, that 
the feeling and the experience of belonging is something that can always be rediscovered. Discovered, and it's also being renewed all the time. The things that we felt in life that we belong to, often you notice that there's almost this constant evolution to our sense of belonging. You know, it may start out with our families, or we may never feel like we were able to create that sense of belonging with them. It can certainly happens around our areas of interest. Do you ever have noticed the things you get really interested in, all of a sudden you enter into this whole world view? Do you know what I mean? Um, any, almost anything any of us can think of, anything we can imagine, there are groups of people whose their whole life is really centered around that. Have you ever noticed that? I mean, there, you know, you, you, if you're into like folding papers into, into, you know, little planes that you throw, there's whole places out there that that's what people are into. Like that's their, that's their thing that lights their fire in their life, you know, and, and folding it up and they, and they will gather, right? And they'll gather and they'll communicate and there's, and you know, it's easy for us to look at what somebody else is into and think it might, might be rather silly, but by God, look what we're into today. You know? <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> things only look silly from the outside. And actually, I think it's better if they look silly from the inside because that you can enjoy them more. But, but no matter what, you know, if you look back at what you're interested in in your life, all the little different twists and turns that your interests took and your hobbies and your whatever your creative ways of being were, what caught your imagination, that when you enter into them, they're, they're little worlds in and of themselves. They're all these little sub-worlds. And each of those worlds also has a sense of belonging when you find other people that you go that that are interested in what you're interested that they're touched by what you're touched by um that they have a sense of appreciation for what you have a sense of appreciation for and it's not not just a, sh a shared sense of interest but it's actually a way that we feel like we then belong it's a kind of sense of some sense of home and so almost any human being has any number of ways in which they feel like they belong. Little sub-communities, little subsets of friends or interest, and then you may have big ones. And I've often thought that spirituality itself is the search to belong. It's really, this, it's, that's not entirely as that, but in great part it is the search to find a belonging that feels really true and authentic and feels dependable. Feels like it can't just be removed um, when external circumstances change. 